National parks are treasured places set aside for conservation and enjoyment by all Americans, present and future. As caretakers for these places, the National Park Service uses the best available science to monitor changes in park resources over the long term. The Park Service Inventory and Monitoring Division, or INM, monitors the status and trends of park natural resources like forest plants, wildlife populations, and air and water quality. Since 2005, INM has monitored a series of ecosystem health indicators, or vital signs, in the National Capital Region. This monitoring helps provide a better understanding of long-term changes within parks and throughout the region. The vast majority of Capital Region park land drains into the Potomac River. The Potomac is the second largest tributary of the Chesapeake Bay, the nation's largest estuary. INM monitors water quality every month in smaller streams at 39 sites in the region. We're monitoring a variety of water quality and quantity parameters, such as pH, dissolved oxygen, conductivity, salinity, flow, depth, and discharge. Fish are a nice way to check the water quality because they are constantly exposed to the environment that they're in. Once we collect all of the fish, we count them and weigh them and identify them to species. This then goes into a computer program and that gives us a sense of how healthy this stream is. Most of what we're doing is we're trying to capture good continuous baseline data to ensure that the streams are meeting the parameters for what is considered healthy waters. INM also monitors benthic macroinvertebrates, including crayfish and dragonfly larvae, and stream physical habitat, including erosion of stream banks, the depth of stream channels, and streamside plants. Frogs and salamanders are sensitive to changes in the amount and cleanliness of water in streams and wetlands. INM monitors these amphibians and tracks population density and distribution at targeted locations. More than two-thirds of the land cover in parks of the Capital Region is forest. As a result, INM monitors vegetation, pests, and invasive plants in more than 400 forest plots spread across the region. INM tracks the tree and shrub seedlings that will grow into the forests of tomorrow and measures the size, health, and species of saplings and trees that are the forests of today. Due to high rates of local land development, Capital Region Parks also provide important habitats for birds. Wait for that first light to kind of pop through. And when it does, that's when essentially the dawn chorus of birdsong begins. And we get on site, we get to our point, and we count all the birds we hear and see within a 10 minute period. INM monitors these birds, visiting 385 sites every spring and summer. The Inventory and Monitoring Program is proud to be part of conserving unique natural resources in the National Capital Region. Long-term monitoring in national parks is an investment in the future. The knowledge and perspective we gain from monitoring helps ensure that now and in the future, we will be able to better understand and care for our nation's amazing national parks.